Well, dear friends, here is the piece de resistance of the wrestling business, an Australian tag team match. This is Uncle Rudolph K. stalking over there in that one corner and turning down the young autograph signers by the hundreds. He'll sign as many as he can. Oh, and Benito Gardini, mio bambino. Here is... Oh, no. Gorgeous George throws away Georgie pins. Benito's much more practical. He throws away T-shirts. You know, these boys have T-shirts made with their pictures on them, and the fans buy them just by the gross. So Benito, I guess, could be accused of stirring a little business. The old powerhouse team just walked across the picture there, the Schnabels, Hans and Fritz. Your attention, please. This is an Australian tag team match. To the best, two out of three, Team Falls. From Los Angeles, California, both weighing exactly 235 pounds, Hans and Fritz Schnabel. Oh, our people love them. In the opposite corner, from Chicago, weighing 222 and one half pounds, Rudy K. <laughs> That's my boy. His partner's from Baltimore, weighing 223 pounds, Benito Gardini. Hello, Benito. The referee uh. is Jimmy Callis. Jimmy Kellis is the referee here. Benito's still got on his T-shirt that I was telling you about. Jimmy Kellis has called the boys into the center of the ring here. The Schnabels do not like the idea of Benito's especially made-up T-shirt. Kellis has given them the, the what for here. All of this palaver that goes on in the ring has to do with what happens with an Australian tag team match. These are a peculiar creation of Chicago wrestling in that uh, two men wrestle as teams. One man on the outside of the ring, you can see the restraint rope there immediately behind Hans. Whoever stands outside the ropes has to maintain his grip on that rope. He can move either side of the ring away from us or to our right, but he must hang on to that rope. You see, Hans has picked it up in his hands. He can move up and down the ring as far as that rope will let him, and if he can shake hands over the top rope with his feet flat, then he can relieve his partner. That's the way it goes. Fritz is in here with Benito to begin this match. This is the best two out of three falls. There's an arm lock falling. A double outside wrist lock that Benito had. Oh, Benito's hair got caught in Fritz's fingers. Happens that way every once in a while with these schnobbles. <laughs> Benito caught a knee lift there. a drag. Flying there. It takes two team falls to make a fall in Australian tag team wrestling. So don't be surprised when you see one man pinned and the match continue. Benito slapping at Fritz there. Fritz cannot... Hey, bud, what do I do? <laughs> He's one of the toughest little guys in the business and one of the most vociferous. Oh, 
Hold on, cut it out, fellas. Let's seal this up. I don't want to talk to my brother. Benito's in the corner and he wants out. Well, that's one way to make it. Board of directors meeting here with Rudy. Uncle Rudolph. Talking to Hans there, there's a knee lift into the tummy with a headlock rip. One, counts Jimmy Callis. These tag matches quite often turn into full-fledged hassles every once in a while when these guys get excited and all four of them get in the ring. There are not so many bouts back. I remember when the schnabel, Rudy K and Al Williams, actually tore this ring down with body slams. It collapsed to where the match had to be called off. Fred. We can see you. Maybe Mr. Callis can't, but we can see you. Well, there was a Stilson for a moment that Benito, or Benito had. There's a drag. Oh, come on back, Fritz. The party's just starting. Oh, no. You let me alone. Benito said, hey, kid, meet him a partner, Rudy K. And look at Rudolph go to work. There's a chin lock posted. An extended wrist lock, and Hans is trying to get to Fritz here to relieve him. Hey, no, no toe service, no toe service. Hans, you cannot pull your little brother to you that way. Think cricket. Hans, ah, ah, ah. Rudy's still keeping that wrist lock on Fritz. Almost to take, uh, no Hans, both feet flat on the floor, as in billiards, you know. Uh, Benito. Okay, what's that a go to for him is a go to for me, kid. Well, it's broken up at long last. Here's Hans, the old powerhouse. Boy, this guy's a mountain of strength. I wouldn't want him after me if he were in a wheelchair. Look at him put Rudy back on the rope. And Rudy's no weakling. Hans, watch your language. Lip readers in the audience, you know. And I don't think he is anyway. Mm. <laughs> no mother pin a rose on me. Chin lock posted on Rudy. Hans getting that old armor star ham right of his ready to put into Rudy's middle. I always refer to the schnobbles of wrestling in formal attire. That also includes Rudy for the night. Morning clothes, you know. Callis is trying to figure out what skullduggery is coming up there. Rudy may be taking it away from Hans here. Yep, he's kind of got the old boy spread betwixt and between. I have to break it up. Hans is out from under. Rudy's going to make sure he stays that way. You know, that just makes my tummy muscles twitch every time I see it done. Look at that. Mm. Our Uncle Rudolph is being a little cautious here with Hans. There was a run under Hammerlock. Flying there and it peeled him off. 
Just like a dirty work shirt. <laughs> That's just Mr. Gardini Hans. Don't let it bother you. You'd think he owed you money the way you jumped away from him. Double knuckle locks here. Hans makes a single outside out of it. Maybe he's doubled up if we can. Ruby, don't strain so much, boy. Uh, Hans, I saw you pulling hair. I don't think Mr. Callis did. Rudy trying to flail out of it. This is now a double wrist lock or a figure four. Hans is trying to get on Rudy's cauliflowers there. Tender, yikes, that peeled him off, didn't it? And Uncle Rudolph has a double wrist lock now. Hey, Fritz. Looks like two minutes. Uh, Benito, uh-uh. You could attract in our cameraman now. That's better. This guy Benito breaks loose. The cameramen all want to shoot him. So does the crowd sometimes. Good job. X marks in the spot. Where did he jump on? Siggy. Hans wants no part of Rudy when Rudy starts pouring it on. Notice the difference in the texture of these guys' skins. Schnobbles have just come back from Honolulu, and boy, are they brown. There's a chin lock posted. Now into a single wrist lock plus a handful of Uncle Hans's fingers on Rudy's esophagus, I think. So does Mr. Callis, but he can't prove anything. There's Clinky, our sound man. He's about to get kicked in the face. <laughs> Notice the photographers moving around down there. The hammer lock on Rudy. Flying mare, and it got Hans loose. Body press, one, two. Uh, Mr. Callis, tally hole boy. Out from under. Hans could catch it here from Gardini. What said I'm out of kid? I'll kick you in the face, huh? No, go on, but. I'll I have a one for myself, says Benito. Well, that's a nice way to help him in. Thoughtful of Rudy, wasn't it? There's Fritz, but he's let go of his restraint rope. I don't think it'll be called a tag. It wasn't. Come on in, says Rudy. Long about that time, I want to go buy myself a Rosa mustard plaster. How did Callis get tangled up in that? Looks like, Rudy, you're going to get a fresh one, boy. Yeah. Here it is, a little Fritz. An odd thing. Hans and Fritz both weigh alike tonight to the pound. And yet, look at the difference in their bill. Hair's a little short, Benito. You should do something about that crew cut. Uh-oh! <laughs> Cute maneuver. You come on out of that corner. You guys play too well. Fritz is going to get it again. Uh-huh. Rudy has himself a leg lock. <laughs> Benito's working on the pedal extremities of Fritz there, in case you didn't catch that. There's the tag, and in comes Benito. Out goes Uncle Rudolph, and trying to take part of Fritz with him. Who oh, you hurt me? He could and would. Believe me, boy. The drag. Uh, look out, photographers. Boing. Right in the old apple bin. Another drag. Benito's getting a little more mileage out each. Yeah, he was. Headlock. 
right on to Uncle Hunks's knee. Trying to jog Benito's IQ down, I think. Body slam. Well, what's this one? Oh, a backbreaker. Could be one. Well, these snobbles sometimes punish a guy in an uncalled for manner. Oh, they get an assist there from Hans. One, two, three. And the first half of the first team fall is over with, but here's Uncle Rudolph to take over, ready, willing, and able. The idea now is that we got to get Benito out of here. Well, Hans is going to try and oblige. One, two, three. Well, what happens here? This is our full-fledged hassle. No, 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 Fritz. You got the wrong guy. You got to take the fresh one. Benito has already been pinned. Rudy's trying to get him out of the ring in one piece here. Now well, then. Now well, then. Fritz has still got to go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sneak up on Uncle Rudolph that way. Rudy's trying to locate him. Oh, there he is. Look at that cross chin lock that Rudy slapped in there. This guy's as fast as a cobra. That was clever. Right up in the old smush. Look at this. Oh, Rudolph, boy, he's lost his mortgage, hasn't he? There's a tag and Hans is in. Ooh, those big fists they has hit you. Something's got to give. On to the ropes. And there's the body press. One, two, three, and there's the first team fall. You see how this goes in the Australian tag team? Yep, Hans, you won her, boy. Put mug in the cameras. There's little brother Fritz. Yeah, Fritzy, we won it. Wire mother. What's set him out of Bambino, huh? Get it, bend you all out of the shape, huh? You'll let a Bonito fix it on that. First fall in 14 minutes, three seconds to the Schnabel brothers. Well, the ring announcer has made it official now, as you heard. Hunt, you found our cameras, you little cutie. Ugh. Show off those Atlas muscles there. Well, we'll have a few seconds of rest here between falls. Be still trying to figure out what took him. Whether it was a silo that caved in or he just got his head in the swinging door. Benito looks a little bit disturbed by all of this. Okay, so we're laying out a different campaign action here. Uh, Rudy, watch your language when discussing the schnobbles. Leave us keep it clean. We'll be getting a 10 second whistle here before long. That'll mean that one of the boys will have to clear out of the ring. Benito, now look, you'll lose your membership in the Sons of Italy Club if you keep that up. No rough stuff. <laughs> this is Benito, he's quite a boy. He's got a big family. That's a gesture of Rudy, is it? Well, I don't know. It's utter disdain of one kind or another. Well, Hans is sending his little brother out here. He's going to start this second fall. We've got Benito to put up with, and Benito seems to be a little hot around the lasagna. Okay, kid, I'm going to help him myself, huh? If you're going to chew fingers, chew them all. There's a drag. <laughs> Benito's having his morning six there. Poor old Hans is just like a balloon that's lost its hydrogen. He collapsed over there, the headlock. Look out, Benito. Whoop, he hung tight. Hans tried to slam there, but Benito didn't peel off as well as he did just here. Here's a head and shoulders reversed. 
Brother Callis checking it for a small size chokehold in it. <laughs> Look at Benito. Is he cheating? Uh, Benito, watch my sound man. That's Clinky down there. So they keep things in gear here. To get thrown out of the ring really upsets me a bambino. Shot that one right into the middle of old Hans, didn't it? <laughs> la -de da There's a reverse arm lock. Plus the fact that Hans is trying to knock Benito's teeth out. He didn't. Out you go, Hans. Rouse met him. Madam, he's quite all right. He'll be a little dirty when he comes up from there. But oh, so Fritz is getting some what for it too. Come on in, Fritz. The water's fine. Well, we've got a general traffic jam here now. Things are getting bad. Where's Hans? Where? Oh, there's Hans. These two making peace with you. Out you go, Hans, over the top rope. Going out and see how the 360 customers live. Oh, look at Rudy. He's loaded for bear. Oh, that's a nice little detail. Step over tall, inside. Hans is out from under. The Nudo considers in as much as he is, he's going to walk on that part of him that's out, namely his face. Callis and Rudy are making with Chop Chop here about what to do with Hunt. Rudy wants a fresh one. Mr. Callis says he's got to take this second-handed model for a moment. That's right. Hold him just till I get that kid in a pork him, huh? That always meets with Benito's approval. There's a drag getting set up. Tally ho! A headlock. Rudy's trying to set up Hans onto the ropes. There he goes. One, two, three. And the first half of the second team fall goes to Rudy K and to Benito Gardini. <laughs> Look at Dino jump. Come on, Hans. Get up, son. You ain't never going to make any money lying there in the shade. And here's poor Fritz who's catching it. Out of the ring with you, Hans. You're done. Get out on the floor, son. Take a chair. That's a boy. See, when these men are pinned in these Australian tag teams, they have to leave even the edge of the mat. It leaves their partner in the redoubtable position of being just slightly uh, pregnable, you know. Trying to realign. Fritz's spine here. It doesn't suit Rudy. The drag set up on him. And out goes Fritz with the 360 customer. Benito's in. Rudy's out. Fritz is in in a big way. The drag set up on Benito. Another one for him. Off of the rope. Timber. One, two, three, and the second team fall. Thusly goes to Gardini. Mio Bambino. Eh, eh, don't make like a football on him there. And Rudy Kip. Rudo. How'd you like to look at those two across your Wheaties every morning? Aren't they cute kids? Come on, Hans. No, that's Fritz. I'm sorry. Fritz. Look. Oh, fellas. So much going on, and we just can't take pictures of all of it. We just got wrestlers all over the joint. Here's Benito, who's gone out to visit the photographers. Hello, Hans. Oh, no, fellas. Look. Somebody send in another referee to help Callis. <laughs> Poor little Jimmy Callis. This is like being in a garage full of mad trucks, isn't it? 
Hey, Mastro, you'd better get out of there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think Kellis has disqualified the whole smacking crew of them. Let's see. Well, it looks like, uh-oh, we've got the other referee in here with Callis now. The whole detail is is called off. The match will Your be a draw, please. of course. The time of the second team fall to Rudy Kay and Gardini. Uh-uh. Hey, uh, Fritz, Fritz, Fritz. 53 naughty, seconds. Naughty, naughty. The referee has now disqualified both teams. See, both teams have been disqualified, and consequently, this match winds up in a draw. Each of the teams had a team fall, and then somebody lost his temper, and it turned into one of these things like an automat on a on a wild jam. The Schnabels think they've won. Uh, Willing guard. Ah. What did you say? Uh. Hmm. Benito. You better look out, kid. They'll knock you off that edge of the ring. Well, good night, boys. Been fun. Been fun.